What whiskey should you be hunting in 2023? Well, let's get right to it. I'm Matt, I'm the Whiskey Nerd, and this is gonna be six Irish whiskies you should be hunting in 2023 because 2023 is going to be an amazing year for Irish whiskey between new brands coming on, distilleries having their own stock being matured and existing brands having to innovate to keep the market fresh. It's going to be an amazing year for Irish whiskey and there's going to be a lot of choices on the market. So these are going to be some great little options for you to keep an eye out when they appear on shelves. First off, let's talk about Dingle. Now, Dingle are a brand that's been around for about a decade making gins and vodkas and whiskies. Now, their whiskey, it's getting on in years, it's getting really nice and developed and coming into its own right as being a very good whiskey that can compete with the best brands on the market. They've got some nice core products which are always gonna be available, but they're still making some good kind of special editions. And this is one of those special editions. So this is the first whiskey in their Wheel of the Year series. Now, if you want, you can check out my review of the Sauron whiskey, which I did a couple of weeks ago. It's a very, very nice whiskey, very full flavored. It's got a really good, interesting character, but what's special about it is it's gonna be the first of a series. So throughout this year and into next year, Dingle are gonna be releasing another seven whiskies in this range. So that's gonna give us a nice range of whiskies within Dingle's portfolio that are all gonna be going a little bit in new directions, all gonna be showing some new flavors and definitely one to keep an eye out because when they release, they are gonna be limited editions, they are gonna sell out, but they are gonna be very, very tasty. Next up, it's Boan Distillery, and this is a distillery that just turned three years old, so they have whiskey that is now legally allowed to be called whiskey. On the 21st of December, 2022, they had a coming of age party, and luckily, myself and Rose were invited to attend that party, and we got to try some of their three-year-old whiskey that turned three years old that day. Now, you might be familiar with Boan because they have been producing whiskey that they've sourced under the brand name of The Whistler. Now, they've won lots of awards for those sourced whiskies, but this is gonna be their own whiskey under the Boan brand. So it's gonna be a very interesting postil whiskey. They're doing a lot of really cool experiments with different types of mash bills, looking at the impact of climate. They have a good collaboration with Talnua Distillery in Colorado where they made the same whiskey on the same day and put them into the same casks. And so after a few years, they're gonna see what impact the climate in Ireland and Colorado had on that same whiskey. It's gonna be a very interesting, cool product. And they are gonna be able to release their own whiskey now going on into 2023, into 2024. You're gonna see some really interesting, tasty Irish whiskey from Boan Distillery on your shelves and definitely not one to be missed. Next, we're gonna talk about Cologne and specifically their Baron Tool releases. Now, I'll put a picture of my bottle over here so you can see what those whiskeys look like, but unfortunately, I don't have my bottle anymore. Now, I was lucky enough to get into the ballot to be able to buy one of the first bottles they did release, but one of my friends who's an avid whiskey drinker, he wasn't lucky enough to get into the ballot and he's got his first child on the way, so I decided in the spirit of friendliness, I'd let him have my bottle so he can toast the arrival of his child in the next few months with a nice glass of Cologne, but it's a very cool looking bottle and it's a very interesting story behind Cologne. So they are a micro distillery and they have been releasing some very, very top notch whiskies. They've been collaborating with different brands around the world and they've been releasing some really good sourced whiskies, but the Baron Tool whiskies is gonna be whiskey they made and they aged themselves. They're very transparent in Cologne. They tell you exactly what, what grains were used in the making of the whiskey, how it was aged, where it was aged, how long it was aged for. So it was a very cool distillery and I'm very excited to see where they go next because as they get more and more stock that's three years old, that turns into four year old, they're gonna be able to produce some really, really good whiskey. The whiskeys they've been sourcing and putting out have been very good, so I have no doubt that they know what they're doing and they'll be able to make some really awesome whiskeys in 2023. Another distillery to keep an eye out for in 2023 is Blackwater. They have been doing some very, very interesting work with historic mash bills, finding mash bills of Irish whiskies that were made, you know, 100 years ago, more than 100 years ago, and then bringing them into the modern day so we can taste what people 100 years ago were drinking. Very, very cool, very, very clever, and they'll have some more whiskies coming out this year. They already released their Dirt Grain Manifesto, which I'll put a picture of that box 
up here, very clever, very, you know, going back to the dirt, going back to the grain, going back to the history of Irish whiskey, but they've also got some classic kind of modern Irish whiskey that they're gonna have coming on stream, that they're gonna be having releasing during 2023. So definitely another brand to keep an eye out for. Another brand to keep an eye out for in 2023 is Two Stacks. Now Two Stacks do not make any of their own whiskey. What they do is they source from other distilleries. Now, up to this point, they've been sourcing from Great Northern Distillery and they've been making some really, really great whiskies, particularly their Polaris collection. Very, very tasty. Their Potstill Polaris whiskey, it won the best Irish Potstill whiskey last year. So they know what they're doing when they take some really good whiskey and they finish it in an interesting way to add a new dimension to something that's kind of classic. And since I mentioned all those other distilleries that are coming on stream, that are gonna have their own whiskey that's now three years old, that will become four years old and even older, the range of choices that two stacks are gonna to have to choose from is gonna be much, much bigger. So I can imagine them sourcing, let's say, a nice kind of rich single malt whiskey from Dingle and then combining it with, let's say, a pot still whiskey that comes out of a uh, Boan distillery and then mixing those two together into a very, very tasty whiskey where you get, let's say, some very interesting notes from both of those distilleries. So in 2023, as all these other Irish distilleries come on stream and as they all kind of change the way the market is working, Two Stacks should have a very good opportunity to source some really good, interesting whiskies and make some fantastic blends. So if you see something from Two Stacks, keep an eye on it. And lastly, we're gonna talk about the existing brands. Now this is the Jameson Single Pot Still Whiskey and it is a very nice whiskey. I really do like this whiskey, but I'm not specifically talking about this whiskey here in front of me. I'm using this as an example of other brands, existing brands, current brands that are having to innovate, having to come up with new products because of all those other brands that are coming on stream and releasing new innovative products. Because in 2023, we're gonna see more whiskey come on stream from all those other distilleries, the existing brands can't just rest on their laurels. They can't just sit back and say, well, there's no other whiskey available, so you'll have to buy our whiskey. They have to innovate. They have to come up with something new like this one it was released at the end of last year, the Jameson Single Pot Still aged in five different types of oak. So not only is it a new type of whiskey for Jameson, they're also experimenting with different types of casks. So all those other distilleries, all those other brands that are coming up, that are coming on stream, they're gonna have to force all the other existing brands to innovate and to come up with something new to keep themselves fresh. So keep an eye out on the existing brands. I know I do like the new brands coming on stream, but the existing brands are gonna to have to be coming up with something new, something exciting, so keep an eye on them too. So there you have it, some fantastic whiskies for you to keep an eye on this year. Between all the new brands coming on stream, the older brands innovating, 2023 is gonna be an amazing year for Irish whiskey and it will probably change the way Irish whiskey is perceived internationally. But let me know down in the comments below if you think there are other whiskies people should be hunting in 2023, if there's other distilleries, if there's other brands out there that you think deserve a little bit more love, a little bit more respect, and are making some very good whiskies, let me know down in the comments, because I'd love to hear from you. I put out whiskey reviews on Wednesdays, I put out cocktail recipes on Fridays, and sometimes I put out fun little videos like this on Mondays, so if you wanna see more, make sure you scroll down, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Sláinte.